Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Steve Malsberg Show from our New York City studios. Ari Fleischer with a very unique perspective on the meeting today between Donald Trump and Barack Obama, former press secretary to George W. Bush, will join us momentarily. Uh, but first, did you see this video? This is out of Chicago. This is the tone that's being set by some in this country, and this is what it's resulting in. Watch. You voted Trump! You voted Trump! Oh, yeah! You voted Trump! Don't vote Trump. Don't vote Trump. Don't vote Trump. You see the protests last night. I want to know where the Attorney General of the United States is, and the President is denouncing this kind of violence. Thuggery, a bunch of thugs going after a white guy and beating him up in Chicago. Is that acceptable in this country? Maybe under this administration it is. And then there was the protests in California. Watch this. Lily, your sign tonight says. Um, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. If, if we don't fight, who's going to fight for us? People had to die for your freedom where we're at today. We can't just do rallies. We have to fight back. There will be casualties on both sides. There will be because people have to die to make a change in this yeah, world. I, I but Trump, enough with your racism. Stop splitting families. Let, don't split my family. There will be casualties on both sides. People have to die to make changes in this country. And the, the stupid CNN reporter asked him another question, uh, this woman another question, until Don Lemon put a stop to it, to his credit. This has to stop. It has to stop now. There was violence last night. It has to stop. Now, in that spirit of coming together, Donald Trump, the president-elect, met with Barack Obama, the president of the United States, at the White House, an hour and a half meeting today, and when it was over? Well, I just had uh, the opportunity to have an excellent conversation with President-elect Trump. Uh, it was wide-ranging. We talked about uh, some of the organizational issues uh, in setting up a White House. We talked about foreign policy. We talked about domestic policy. Uh, and as I said last night, my number one priority in the coming two months is to try to facilitate a transition that ensures our president-elect is successful. And yet this is, an, uh, is this not surreal to see this? Here's more from Obama. I have been very encouraged by the, I think, interest in President-elect uh, Trump's wanting to work with my team around uh, many of the issues that this great country faces. And I believe that it is important for all of us, regardless of party uh, and regardless of political preferences, uh, to now come together, work together, to deal with uh, the many challenges that we face. And the president said to Donald Trump, I want to help you all I can, because if you succeed, we all succeed. It was very, very heartwarming to see this. And then Donald Trump spoke. This was a meeting that was going to last for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, we were just going to get to know each other. We had never met each other. Uh, I have great respect. The meeting lasted for almost an hour and a half, and it could have, as far as I'm concerned, it could, could have gone on for a lot longer. Yeah, Donald Trump was uh, enjoying it and having fun. One more from Donald Trump. We discussed a lot of different situations, some wonderful and some difficulties. Um, I very much look forward to dealing with the president in the future, including counsel. Uh, he's uh, he explained some of the difficulties, some of the the high-flying assets and some of the some of the really great things that have been achieved uh, so mr president it was a great honor being with you and i look forward to being with you many many more times in the future thank you